Right, so this is the uh, Isabella Catlett Dream. Uh, I'm just going to run through a quick video on how to set it up. So first thing you need to do, once you've got it off the back of the car, is to get the corner steadies down uh, to level the, uh, the trailer tent up. The Isabella Camplets come with three corner steadies. One at the front, two at the back. So that's the four corner steadies down. Once you've done that, you finish with a handle. Undo the rear tailgate. And inside, you'll find in a box, these legs which we'll need putting together. And if you can imagine, this is the lid that's going to unfold. So the legs need to go on the outer two runners. If you push the button in at the bottom, that allows this bit to come in, slot it down, pull it out, and it clips into place. Then do the same with the other one. So once you've got the legs on, uh, it's time to unsecure the lid from the base. Just release. There's two catches, one inside at the back and one outside at the front. <clears throat> and once you've done that, just a question of unfolding. And most important with the dream, this warning sign here, this attachment needs to be swiveled through 180 degrees to the up position. That's very, very important. If you don't do that and try and unfold the canvas, you will break the frame. Once you've done that, the next most important thing is to insert the joining bar, which is, it goes on the front of the frame and holds the two halves together before you unfold the canvas. If you try and do this afterwards, it's very, very difficult. So it inserts into the bars on both sides, like so, and then you're ready to pull the canvas over. So once you pull the canvas over, just apply a little bit of tension to these arms here and clamp them in place. Same on the other side. We don't stretch them out completely at this stage. That comes later. Once you've done that, inside the trailer, you've got the mattresses the curtains, the front panel for the awning, and a selection of bars. So before applying the final tension to the canvas at the front, you need to make sure that the, the skirt is pulled around, all the way around the trailer, and these pegs will reach underneath and actually peg onto the rails to hold it all in place. This one can be pegged onto the corner steady. Oh, and this one went onto the alloy wheel. Then you've got the four, sorry, the two corners. Just tighten those up to prevent any drafts. Securing the kitchen, 
you need to pull this handle out slightly that actually provides the rest for the washing up bowl when you want to use that which comes with the kitchen but you need to pull that out slightly to release the leg bring the legs down the, the legs in actually three sections so you've got a popper there and a grub screw once you've got it the height you want just tighten up the grub screws so just to take the weight off of it then you can release the rack from both sides which folds down provides handy storage space for your pots and pans this pole with the two T pieces on either end is the wardrobe pole which you can clip on So, like so, and then push it up and just spring it onto these upright poles like that. Don't worry about trying to get that level at this stage because we've got to fully tension the awning yet. Grass excluder then zips onto the side of the awning on both sides. Clip it all the way down to the bottom and then it attaches to the trailer using these poppers. And you see that you've got a nice big storage area which actually sits under the trailer. There's a pocket there which goes over the join between the two parts of the trailer and then attach the zip on the other side trailer tent comes with two bags of pegs and guy ropes but just for the purposes of this demonstration I'm just going to peg down the four corners to start with. Obviously depending on the surface you're pitching on there are some metal pegs as well as these red plastic pegs. Peg the rear corner before you peg the front corners and pull it tight. Bearing in mind that these corners come out at a right angle from the side of the trailer tent. best next to attach the, uh, the front panel. Bear in mind that you have two zips on either side. Once you've pegged down the frame on the outside, release this clamp, the brown clamp, push this hole up and put the clamp back into place like so. 
doesn't matter which side you do first. And again, do the same on the other side. And that's the basics of the trailer tent done. Next thing you do inside the trailer tent, you've got this horizontal bar here with the T end on one end only, which clips like so against the two frames. That's then adjustable. Pull it out, clip it onto the front panel, apply a little bit of tension and clamp it to like so. Then we've got the upright for the front support, which is another telescopic pole, which clips onto the bar, just takes a little bit of the weight and do it up like so. Then you can rearrange your cushions Bearing in mind you've got this handy little seat feature. As you fold the backrest back and that clips onto the ring just inside the trailer there. The same on the other side. And then the other mattress comes the back rest, like so. And also in the trailer tent you have a set of curtains which can be clipped on and what's known as a veranda pole which fits onto this side only. fits into a couple of pockets that are sewn into the side. And again, just apply a little bit of tension and tighten up the, the grub screw. So one of the finishing touches for the Dream is this nice storage feature which hides the, a lot of the framework of the awning and clips and you've got studs down at the bottom there to fix it to on the draft skirt with some handy storage pockets there as you can see and again fixes to these studs done that, put the curtains up, done the rest of the pegs, that's basically the Isabella Dream set up ready for use. Okay, so one of the most popular options with the Dream is to have the front canopy. You can buy the front canopy on its own and then you can add to that a front panel for the front canopy and also curtains for the front canopy. Put the canopy up, it's quite easy. First of all, you want to sort out your poles. So you've got three rafter poles that go from front to back, and then the loop bars at the front are divided into two sections, as you can see there. Okay, so the first thing to do is to actually zip the canopy onto the zip on the main awning itself. So the roof panel just zips onto the main awning. It's easy as that.
And once you've done that, you want to thread the bars into the front of the canopy. These are shaped in such a way as they will only fit one way round. So you can't go wrong. And it's quite obvious which end goes on the ground. It's got a spike on the end. Have those retracted all the way in to start with so that once you've got it up, you can use those to tension the canopy. One half. Half. And again, where they join together is shaped so it will only fit one way round. of the canopy fits into a zipped channel on the front edge of the canopy. like so and then what we need to do is put the rafter poles in the u-shaped plastic clip fits onto the front of the canopy bar like so and the other end fits into a pocket which is sewn into the roof material of the canopy at the back and again apply a little bit of tension and just hold it in place like so and do exactly the same with the left and the right bars. Always remember to have these clamps facing down so they don't foul on the canvas. So before actually pegging the canopy down, this strap with the three holes needs to be placed under and the point on the bottom actually goes through one of those holes and that holds the whole canopy in place to the, to the frame. <coughs> And then the whole thing can be tensioned out like so before being pegged down like so and exactly the same on the other side piece of putting the canopy up is to apply some tension to these front legs by raising them up. If you're going to fit the front panel then you need to do that before you apply the tension to make sure the canopy fits with the front panel correctly. To apply the tension all you need to do is make sure that that's released and pull that up and clamp it into place and do exactly the same on the other side. And that's all there is to raising the canopy. <laughs>